of all time, the Backstreet Boys, to find out how the new world tour is going. Excited match, I think they are. <laughs> <laughs> Very shortly, the Backstreet Boys will be telling us about their new tour and why fans have made it so hard for them to find a place to sleep. Oh, hey, please welcome Nick, Brian, Harry, Kevin, AJ, the Backstreet Boys. Good evening. How are you all? You know what? Thank you. We have absolutely loved this afternoon listening to your back catalogue. Geffen used to send postcards to girls with your lyrics this on them. This is the bit you weren't supposed to mention tonight, wasn't it? Yes. It was too good not to. Wow. <laughs> he still does. He still does. Now, AJ, when you hear those songs that were so big and are still very popular, what goes through your mind and which was your fave? Wow. I mean, you know, I still I still kind of pinch myself, you know, daily. The fact that we're here still doing this almost 30 years later. Uh, we've been very fortunate to have an amazing catalog of great, great music. Uh, thanks to Max Martin, Dennis Pop, the amazing Sharon team in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, but when we listen to these songs, it, it's a moment in time, you know, for us as well as for all of our fans. Uh, but out of those songs that you just played, I got to say, for me, it's Backstreet's Back because that was wow. such a fun video to yeah. you know, shoot being Hollywood monsters and the makeup and, the you know, the signature dance move that we still do in our show. <laughs> uh, you know, so it's always nice to go down memory lane, but we're still doing those songs in our show today. So, yeah, it's an honor. Tough to pick one. So, yes, Brian, we're going to see, though, people who are lucky enough to see you on tour uh, will get to see the old classics as, as well. So you're in Vegas at the moment, just about to start the tour. What about the dance routines? Uh, will they be as energetic and as full-on as they've always been? Well, you, you have to expect that we're, uh, we're going all out, you know? I mean, the, uh, the DNA World Tour has 32 songs 32 songs wow. in it. Uh, we do about close to two hours. Yeah, don't go to sleep. Again. <laughs> uh, it's about two hours. And yes, you're going to see all the batteries back. You're going to see all of Largin in life. You're going to see I want it that way. You're going to see I'll never break your heart. You're going to see, I mean, all the greatest. Uh, so don't miss it. If you have a chance to get a ticket to the tour, please come see us and uh, you will not be disappointed. Yeah. We promise. Yeah. And now that for, for the UK fans, that'll be November at London's uh, O2. Yeah. Um, quite a few people uh, asking what you'll be up to in the UK, including Kerry and maybe one of your youngest fans, Isla. Oh. Hi, my name's Kerry and this is Isla. We just wanted to ask what's your favourite thing about the UK when you come to visit? Mm. So you're coming to the UK. What do you love about the UK when you're coming to visit? Mush and chips. Yeah, mushy peas. Fish and yeah. chips and mushy peas, yes. <laughs> I still don't get the beans. That, the beans at breakfast thing, I've <laughs> never understood that. So <laughs> I love it. I love it. Weird. Now, Kevin, we know that your tours have caused havoc and that because your fans are pretty hardcore, and sometimes they've made things at hotels a little bit tricky. And sometimes you've been banned from hotels because of your fans. Can you give us one of the more extreme examples? Well, we have very passionate fans and we're very grateful for that. Um, let's see, <clears throat> several years back, normally when we finish a show, we do what's called a quick out, where in the last looks, that we're performing in, as soon as we exit the stage, we jump into a van and go straight to the hotel to try and beat our own <clears throat> traffic back. And we go straight to our rooms, we get undressed, we put all of our stage clothes in a carryout bag, and our wardrobe assistant comes around to our rooms, knocks on the door, and we just hand it right outside the door. And one time I got a knock on the door, Usually I look through, you know, a little hole to, you know, make sure that it's who I think it is, but it's right after the show. Our quick out bags are being collected and I just open the door and it's two fans. <laughs> and I'm like, hi, that's <laughs> where I'm going to pick up my wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had a roll, but it was fine. And I just said, hello, nice to yeah. meet you. Yeah. Um, and security was right down the it's hall. A real, it's a real shock. It's a real shock. You've got so many amazing experiences. <laughs> you, you, we still have security to this day for a reason. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, you're all dads now, and I know, Nick, you've been intru introducing the younger generation, your kids, to your music. Is it fair to say that they're not quite into it yet? I mean, is it ahead of their time? How would you explain it? 
Well, first of all, my, my son, he's um, getting ready to turn six. Uh, my middle daughter, she's two years old, and my youngest is 11. Uh, daughter, two daughters and one boy. Um, so I was doing a TikTok video right there, and I was playing uh, larger than life. And obviously, as you could tell, my son was not <laughs> enthused at all in any way. <laughs> Um, and, and listen, but that's that's okay. You know, they like all of us. We're all fathers, and uh, you know, our our children know us as dad, and that's the most important part uh, right now. But I'm actually going to have my uh, uh, my kids yeah. come to see this show in a couple of days, and yes. I'm, I'm interested. I think my daughter, my daughter Sirsha, is going to be the one that's going to be looking around and being like, uh, no, 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 get off the stage. <laughs> <I'm probably gonna laughs> no, it's all what they, but there's so many fans, <laughs> so many fans around the world that can't wait to see you. And like I say, they'll be able to see you in the UK the DNA tour at the O2 Arena on November. The this sixth and tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Probably sell out by one minute past 10, I'd imagine. Absolutely. <laughs> Good luck, lads. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you so much. Now we throw.